These are the final two words spoken by Freddie Mercury before he became permanently absent. Freddie Mercury was diagnosed with HIV, AIDS in the spring of 1987, according to Brian May, the guitarist for Queen and a close friend of Freddie Mercury. May disclosed this information in the documentary Today of Our Lives. As a result of the extensive prevalence of the negative stigma associated with HIV, the results of this diagnosis were concealed from the general public, similar to the vocalist of the band Queen. This condition affects those who engage in sexual activity and switch partners. The reason for this is because Freddie is bisexual, meaning that he is attracted to both men and women. Additionally, he had sexual contact with a large number of women and men, which led to the development of AIDS. Freddie snuck away to his cherished residence, Garden Lodge, located in Kensington, London, England, after he discovered that he was sick with AIDS. The last two years of his life were spent there, and he lived in complete isolation, allowing only those who were particularly close to him to pay him visits. These individuals included Jim Hutton, Brian May, Elton John, Mary Austin, and Peter Freestone. His personal assistant, they divulged the fact that Freddie had exerted a great deal of effort in confronting his condition. They were the ones who watched over Freddie in his final hours. Additionally, Freddie and Jim Hutton went on vacation to Switzerland around the same month that he vanished. In spite of this, Freddie's condition deteriorated upon his return to Garden Lodge. The moment he returned to his bed, he joined his pals in watching television. In the event that Freddie requires a blood transfusion, his room has been converted into a little hospital where a drip is placed next to the bed. According to Mirami, Freddie made the decision two weeks before he passed away to cease taking all of the medication that was prescribed for AIDS, with the exception of pain remedies. As his condition worsened, he also stopped eating solid meals and instead consumed only fruit and beverage made from fruit. Despite this, Freddie continued to think about other people in his dying days and spent some of his time recording Queen's final album, Made in Heaven, which was recorded after he had passed away. In point of fact, he had already wrapped Christmas presents in order to deliver them to his pals after he passed away. He ultimately issued a statement to the press just 24 hours before he passed away, and many of his followers were informed that he had been diagnosed with AIDS. The statement stated as follows, in response to significant allegations that have been reported in the media, I would like to confirm that I have tested positive for HIV and that I am currently receiving treatment for AIDS. I believe that it is appropriate to keep this information confidential in order to safeguard the privacy of individuals who are in my immediate vicinity. Having said that, the moment has come for supporters and friends to gather together. In order to learn the truth, I have traveled all across the world. In the fight against this awful disease, I hope that everyone will team up with me, my physicians, and everyone else around the world. The realization that his time with Freddie Mercury was coming to an end was something that his boyfriend, Jim Hutton, had already come to before Freddie Mercury made the declaration public. Jimmy, who was tending to the garden at the time, heard Freddie yell Kai on November 21, 1991. Additionally, Freddie displayed a more affectionate and spoilt attitude toward Jim than he normally would have. With him, Freddie Mercury then awoke at 6 o'clock in the morning on November 24, 1991, and spoke the words P, P. This was the first time he had ever said those words. These were the final words that he wanted to say before he passed away. Freddie's body was cremated once it was announced that he had passed away.